tool like this. This is a stone adze. Uh, this material is called greenstone and comes from the northern part of Virginia, where I'm from, and it was traded, uh, I'm told, as far west as eastern Texas. It's a very widely distributed material, and it's chipped, like Bob Winters is chipping flint, and then ground on sandstone, like y'all have around here, some really good sandstone, actually. And after we fashioned our tool and halved it on using deer rawhide, it's skin of the deer that has not been tanned with brains or anything else, We start chopping with it. And I'm not hitting real hard. I've got all day to do this, so I'm not interested <laughs> in roughing it out real fast. Because I'm going to be showing a lot of folks about this. But you can see it peels these shavings off yeah, with authority. Yep, it's peeling them right down. And it's not that slower than using a steel adze, really. But the key thing is using wood that is freshly cut green wood. And there's a reason we're not in the Stone Age anymore. Because these things work. They just don't work as good as metal. So, I mean, the word primitive means first, not worst. Um, as I've heard one wise man say before. And uh, these things work really good, but uh, they're just slower than what we used to, to, we're used to today. So in that regard, it seems kind of slow. Mm -hmm. With stone tools, um, I would think 20 hours or less. In fact, this piece here, I didn't keep track. This piece took me longer than what it should have because on the back of this tree, the, the lines ran straight, but this grain, under the fit, under the bark, it still has a little twist. This is what we call interlocking grain. Where the grain is just kind of, that's why all these gouges came out when I was working at the stone. Sometimes you can think it's a good piece, just like people, I guess. You think they're good people until you get to get into them, you get to know them. Um, but this can still make a bow, it's just more trouble. Uh, and until I get a replacement piece to show the public, this is what I'm still showing folks. And we're getting to this to the point now, well, right now I need to get all these rough spots off with a piece of flint and, and sandstone, like a rasp. And also we're getting the wood to bend. And I watch the bend, and that shows me where I need to take wood off. Now, obviously I've got a bunch of these that come off up here, um, and I've also got some through here, I use this piece of flint. It's almost flat edge, and it makes a really great scraper. So, a lot of this is just, it's not that it's really overly difficult, it's just that it takes a lot of time. You can see these nice chips. I'm not bearing down that, you know, that hard. I am putting pressure for sure. Now, and the reason I'm pulling it towards me this way is because of the way the grain runs. So, it's just something, you know, you, you're going to be doing and you're not going to be in a big hurry. But I would say total man hours shouldn't be more than 20 man hours in making a bow with stone tools. 